Today I'm going to show you guys the difference between crumbles and infinites. So first we have crumble effects, which if you guys check my previous guide is basically the state where you can continue combos after somebody has this animation and you can pick them up, throw items, do jutsus, you can do a whole lot with uh, it. But there is actually another infinite which doesn't require crumbles because every character in the game does not have them. For instance, Shisui in every string does not have a crumble effect. As you can see, no matter what I do, he doesn't he doesn't have the knockdown. But that doesn't mean that you can't use infinites with characters like this, because you can find them in their combo string. So for instance, Shisui actually has he has three infinites actually. Uh two of them are way more difficult than the regulars, but I'll go from easiest to hardest. So first infinite is There you go. And that's a genuine combo string. The opponent cannot block. I'll go ahead and go to my settings so you guys can see I'm not capping. Opponents guard when damaged. And I'll even put on rebound as well. There you go. As you can see, the AI cannot block. It's confirmed. It's safety. You can follow up with whatever you want. You can throw items. Bombs. And it's a guaranteed string. His second infinite requires a little bit more timing. And it's his down combo. So what you want to do is... I'll do it as fast as I can. Go. As you can see, the AI couldn't block after I did the down string. And he was just wondering what the hell is going on. go but basically that's the the basic difference between crumble effects these are in the game like they're both in the game but crumbles are me mechanically systematically in the devs like they they made sure that each character had these four guaranteed combo extensions whereas infinites are kind of frame advantage attacks that you can continue in between attacks so i won't say it's a glitch or bug i'm pretty sure the devs are aware that infinites are in the game but whether they meant it or not they're there so each character in the game has uh infinites you just have to look for them and as i go through each individual character guide i'm going to go through every single roster in the game yes i'm going to go through every single character I'll be teaching you each individual character's infinite tools and everything else, so you don't have to worry about that right now. But, best thing about infinites is that if a person calls out their supports, you can literally jump block while you're doing your infinite. So, if he were to call out Sugetsu while I was doing the jump pot tick, I would be able to block his attack no matter what. If he called out the support, I would just be able to block, because it is that that's a guaranteed block. You can air block. Whereas, if I were doing the crumble, if he calls out his support, I'm already stuck in animation. I can't. I, I'm mashing the block button. I can't block. But here, I can block. And I'm safe. So continuing with the guide, he has different variations of the infinite. The one tap, two tap, also three tap. All very useful and can be blocked in the middle of the string. So if someone is calling their support, if they throw a bomb, hell, if they throw a shoot shuriken, anything at you, you're able to block in between these strings. You cannot be hit unless obviously your guard breaks. And last but not least, we have the last infinite character, which is uh, a Suedo infinite. It's called Suedo because this infinite requires chakra. So in Naruto's case, as you can see, I didn't need to use chakra at all when connecting these strings. I didn't have to use any resources at all. Same thing with Shisui, I didn't have to use any resources at all. Unless I felt like it. To continue up. Whereas this infinite, you need to use a chakra dash in order to continue it. So for his, it's his down combo. Extremely simple. There you go. As you can see, the AI cannot block. And it does work 100% safe. 
if you guys would like to check my other guides out go ahead and check out the playlist right here above the next guide which will be cancels which is to show you guys how to cancel animations using pills a lot of people requested this in my last video and i'm happy to show you guys how to do it but anyway appreciate you guys for watching show up for my next guide for how to cancel ninja movements with items tags and even hollow steps keep practicing hard keep improving i'll see you guys on the next guide